1727, and the summer sunshine flooded through the windows of a country church near Dresden, Germany, where a community of refugees gathered to share communion. The bread and the wine were especially meaningful to this particular group, which had known its fair share of bursting veins and broken bodies. Just five years earlier, they had fled for their lives across the Austrian Alps under fierce religious persecution, hounded by the counter-reformation away from their homes and livelihoods. Leaving Moravia in search of a new beginning, this ragtag mix of politically incorrect mystics had been granted permission to settle in Saxony on the estate of a 22-year-old aristocrat named Count Nicholas von Zinzendorf. Here they hope to build a truly Christian community, peacefully united around the Bible alone. But five years later, this new Jerusalem was torn by small-minded discontent. The Moravian refugees had spent half a decade competing, disagreeing, and dividing. The body was truly broken, and Zinzendorf, then 27, had had enough. That's why he gathered them in the church at Bethelsdorf, insisting on apologies all around. Finding themselves forced to reflect on the broken body on the cross and the broken body of their community, hard hearts softened. One at a time, people stood, some with tears running down their cheeks to confess sinful attitudes and express forgiveness. That was the moment it all began, the moment that would rewrite the history books of the next three centuries. There, in that village church on August 13, 1727, the Spirit of God moved with such power in the repentant hearts of both Moravians that they began to pray like never before and continued without a break for more than a hundred years. A moment of grace gave momentum to a movement for change that would reshape the landscape of Western Christianity right up to the present day. Beginning Friday, October 10th, Seaport Community Church will enter a season of prayer. For 27 days, for 24 hours a day, we will advance together in prayer for our church, for our family, for our schools, for our community, for our state, for our nation, and for the world. History shows that the tide turns when God's people pray. Seaport, let's lock arms, step onto the battlefield, and be history made. Dear God in heaven, we come to you simply and humbly because we need you to help us. This area is so incredibly strategic. Its ability to influence not only southeastern Connecticut, but Connecticut, New England, the nation, and beyond is great. We trust you humbly and simply today that by the power of the name of Jesus, through your Holy Spirit, that you would enable us to see true transformation take place in our colleges, in our high schools, in our government, in our corporations, in all the various people groups that are here, across our military installations. God, we need you to help us. Come, great God and mighty King, the everlasting one, and give us the strength, the strategy, and the ability to accomplish your will that your kingdom might come and that your glory might be seen. Help us even today. May we not sin against you by ceasing to pray. God, hear our cry, I pray. Thank you, Father. Amen.